What do you miss most about playing Andy and that chapter of your life? I miss every single thing about it every day. That was the greatest chapter of my life so far. Do you ever see a revival happening? I mean, the secret society of second born royals. What was it like filming this movie? Filming this movie was an incredible experience for me. It's the first movie I've ever been a part of. So it was, every single experience was completely new, but it was so much fun. Um, I met so many amazing people and had so many unforgettable experiences. So all around a really great experience. Behind the palace gates and in the shadow of my sister, the soon to be queen, it was me, the second born who was chosen to protect our kingdom. It was really cool to see Sam, who is the first Disney princess of her kind. I'm curious, what drew you to this really unique role? I connected so closely with Sam and with her story and with her struggles with finding out sort of where she belongs in this world and how she can sort of take all the things she's been given and this title that she was born with and really turn it into something meaningful and something valuable to her. And I think it's a very universal theme of wanting to create your own legacy and make that legacy something that you feel inspired by and empowered by. I really appreciated the fact that although the story follows these princes and princesses and superheroes, um, the themes run true for anyone. You know, you don't have to be a superhero or royalty to really um, connect with the story. I wish I had had a Sam when I was a young girl, you know, to watch and feel inspired and empowered by. And, you know, I think a really cool theme about this movie is that, like you just mentioned, it's all about embracing your truest self. So I'm curious, Peyton, what is a quality that you initially maybe felt insecure about or it made you feel different that you ultimately turned into your superpower? The qualities that I find about myself that are um, what make me unique but are also things that make things difficult sometimes are qualities that Sam has as well. You know, this strong-willed um, personality and being intensely independent are both things that I really um, feel that I have and that Sam also has. And both of those qualities are great characteristics. You know, it's so incredible that p for people to, you know, be independent and be proud of who they are and do what they want when they want to do it because they want to do it, you know? And that's such a great quality, but also having such, um, independent instincts and wanting to do everything by yourself the way you want to do it it can be very isolating you know and and it can it can separate you from other people you know people get close to each other by leaning on one another by asking for help by um, learning from each other and when you're very set in i know what i'm doing and i'm going to do it by myself um you can you can miss out on those opportunities to build relationships and that's definitely something that I've struggled with and Sam struggles with through the movie um, and sort of figuring out how to use those inherent traits and funnel them into something positive. Where the fairy tale ends is where our story begins. I have to ask you, the movie of course ends perfectly set up for a sequel. Have there been conversations? And I'm curious what you want chapter two for Sam to look like. Yeah, I mean, I think um, it is a true testament to how solid the story is, that there are so many places for it to go for another movie. You know, the story isn't just like, that's it. You know, by the time the movie's over, there's a lot of opportunities and the story really lends itself to a sequel. There haven't been any official conversations, like we don't know what's happening yet, um, but I definitely really hope it happens. I just think sort of diving deeper into those relationships that we establish in the first movie is gonna be really key. We meet Sam's family, we learn a little bit about them, we see her interact with them a little bit, but we don't, we don't go as deep as we could. And it's the same with her relationship with James, her teacher, and also the members of the secret society. I was sensing a little bit of possible romantic friction, maybe with Mike, maybe with Tuma. Is that something that you'd want to see explored? 
I mean, definitely. I mean, who doesn't love a little romance in a movie? <laughs> right. Sam needs a little flirtatious action. Exactly. So. And like, I really love that in the first movie, there's no like boy influence, which I think is super empowering and super important and great about it. But I definitely think if there were a second one, maybe a little love triangle situation could be kind of fun. Before I let you go, I just want to take a little stroll down memory lane because you know your Andy Mac fans are going to be watching this movie. You're really the coolest girl I've ever known. Oh, I'm really enjoying all the compliments. But... What do you miss most about playing Andy and that chapter of your life? I miss every single thing about it every day. That was the greatest chapter of my life so far. I mean, the people I met, I miss every day. I mean, it really was super difficult for me when that um, series ended because it was a chapter of, a huge chapter of my life. It was pretty much my childhood is sort of bookended by that show, seasons one, two, and three. Andy Mack, the story was so important to me and the characters and the lessons and the stories that we told were so important to me. And it was more than just entertainment. It was, it was actually making an impact. So coming off of that, obviously I don't wanna compare my projects, you know, cause everyone's different and you love it for different reasons. But I wanted to find something that I felt, you know, was equally important and relevant in our world. And so hopefully this movie, um, does that. Please tell me everything's gonna be okay with the secret baby. I'm the secret baby. Bex is my mother and my mother is my grandmother. Do you ever see a revival happening? I mean, I definitely do. And I would be super excited to do that. I'm still really close with all the cast members. We talk all the time. Yeah. And I definitely think that that's something we would all be really excited about and really wanting to happen. I think that story still has so much that has not been told as far as high school years. And I just think there's a lot of really fun opportunity there um, and already this great built-in fan base, so. Is there a cast group chat? There is, of course. <laughs> what goes down? What goes down in that group chat? Usually just like dumb stuff. Like, you know, people send like, weird videos every once in a while someone will text like i miss you guys and we'll just be like oh i miss you too because that was just such a huge part in all of our lives and part of what made that so special was that everyone felt equally connected to it so yeah we're we're all definitely still crossing our fingers and we'll never give up hope on on that one coming back you're a queen. I want to see you doing two franchises, Andy Mac and Secret Society of Second Born Royals. I think we can do it. It's 2020. I completely agree. We need some good news at this point in our world.